In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can draw a stairs like this for your plan, also the elevator and the door for the elevator. So let's learn, practice, and share. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorials. In this tutorial, I would like to continue with the plan that uh, we did so far, and I want to draw the stairs and elevator for today. In the last tutorial, I explained how you can draw different types of uh, stairs and how we can uh, modify this. And uh, if you want to know how did I draw this type of uh, stairs, just click on the card right up here and see that tutorial. If it was uh, informative for you, don't forget to like the video. And uh, I want to continue with uh, this tour for uh, this plan. On the uh, DWG file that I uh, imported in ARCHICAD, the stairs um, has drawn like this, which is uh, a little bit strange for me, that for example, one, two, three, and four steps connects only on one point. So I might draw uh, this stair a little bit different, but uh, with this uh, proportion of the stairs. Also, I would like to mention, if you don't know how to import uh, DWG file uh, or AutoCAD files uh, to ARCHICAD, uh, you can click on the card here and uh, see the tutorial I explained about importing from AutoCAD to ARCHICAD. Well, I'm going to the first floor, the first plan that we draw, and I'm going to select uh, the stir tool. Then on the setting dialog, I'm going to check what do we have here. First, I need to count the stirs that we have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We have 21 uh, stairs here. So I'm going um, to the floor plan. I'm going to select uh, the stairs. And then uh, here we select the 21, a number of the stairs. The width is one meter. And uh, I want to be uh, open for the heights um, of each step. To do that, uh, I just check the minimum and uh, maximum height to uh, some numbers between, uh, for example, 10 to 25, which 25 is too much for a step and um, less than 10 centimeter will make problems if you want to uh, step up the stairs. For the going uh, dimension, I unchecked the minimum and maximum because I want it to be fixed to uh, 30 centimeter for uh, each step. I didn't use uh, the angle for the steps. And for the landings, I uh, chose this one because it is more um, look like to what I want to uh, draw. And also here on this window, I can select uh, different uh, styles for walking lines. Uh, here I select that exactly I want to have a step on the corner and not like this shape or this one. And I didn't change uh, these two numbers here. Basically, I'm more comfortable with drawing the stir with uh, the middle line for the baseline for the walking line. And I didn't change um, anything else. Also for the structure, this is the normal structure. Um, for the finishing, I didn't change the materials or something else. And um, let's draw to see what we're going to get. I'm going to click OK uh, on the trace. I'm going to see the uh, stairs with the dimension that I have. And I'm going to start with one click on the, of the starting point. And uh, here on the seventh, another click, and then I change the method to uh, this type of landing. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to continue the uh, drawing like this. And I'm going to finish, finish it right up here. Then I'm going to continue with the stairs. I'm going to click another click and it asks that how do we want to see the stairs. Uh, I prefer this one, so I double click on it. And if I turn off the trace, this will be our uh, stairs. Also, you see that uh, these two parts is uh, different. 
with the plan that we had. So I'm going to uh, select the stairs and with uh, one click on here, I'm going to rearrange the steps. So like this, you will see that uh, when I change uh, this one, the starting point and the ending point by this uh, arrow will be changed one uh, step exactly. So I want to uh, this is to be at the same starting and end point. So I'm going to click here and then we're going to have uh, an stairs like this. So I'm going to move it up a little bit with control D and I'm going to move it right up here. Then this will be our uh, stairs. I should explain that this one is different from the um, original cat file that we have. Unfortunately, I don't know uh, the actual situation of the stars, so I don't know uh, if I did right or wrong. But generally, I've never seen uh, any stars with these two points uh, right here, and uh, it looks a little bit strange for me. So I'm going to continue with the stars like this. Also, uh, I would like to drag a copy with Control shift d and let's take a look at it in 3D view. These were uh, the stairs that I did in the previous tutorial, and uh, this is the stir that I just draw. Okay, as you see, um, it seems that uh, everything uh, is fine. Also, we have uh, the structure under the uh, steps. And uh, I would like to continue on with uh, this type of uh, stir for uh, the building that we are drawing. So I go uh, back to uh, the plan view. Then uh, I would like to draw an elevator for this plan. To draw an elevator, we should go to the object tool. Then uh, on the setting dialog, I'm going to search for an uh, elevator. I'm going to select uh, this elevator and then uh, I don't change anything here. So I'm going to click OK to see what we get. OK, uh, this is the basic uh, elevator that uh, Archicad uh, gives us. So uh, in this plan, I believe the entrance of the elevator will be uh, on this wall. So I'm going to rotate this elevator by Control E on the keyboard and then I'm going to put in 90 degrees. Then I'm going to put this corner to uh, this corner of the wall and not this one. So with Control D, I'm going to move it to this corner. And uh, with the other corners, I'm going to uh, shrink the size to the size of uh, the elevator shaft that we have. Here uh, we see that we don't um, have enough space for even the doors. So I'm going to change the dimension of the cabin of the elevator. I go back to the dialog setting here on the first uh, tab of uh, elevator setting. We can uh, select a different type of uh, elevator, which is going to be segmented or rectangular, which in this case we have the rectangular. We can uh, select the different uh, mechanics for the elevator and the counterweight position, which I'm going to keep it behind, which is the normal one. Then uh, to see more details, I'm going to select the 3D detail to full and for the 2D details to also full. Then for the floor plan and sections, I'm going to select show entire door direction of a second opening, which we don't have. So we're going to select on the none. Then uh, on the next page, we can uh, select the uh, dimensions of uh, the cabin and the counterweight. To help uh, ourselves for these dimensions, uh, we can uh, select show the uh, elevator shaft, but just because I uh, draw the walls around the elevator, I'm not going to turn uh, this part on. So I'm going to change and increase uh, these numbers like 10 centimeters for this. And then I'm going to add 10 centimeter for this part. Also for uh, this dimension, I'd rather to also uh, change this one to maybe one meter. 
And uh, I'm going to move on to uh, the next tab. Basically, I would like to select a, a double sliding door for the elevator. So I'm going to select uh, this type. Then for the details, I'm going to show the um, car in the 3D and sections. And I don't want to change something else. I'm going to move on. Uh, for the door, opening is uh, 10 centimeter on the plan, which seems fine. Then uh, we could uh, select different styles for the doors to see on the plan and 3D view. I'm going to move on. And then here uh, we could uh, select if we want to have a slab on the top or not, or even the, the bottom and the height of this uh, pit here or even on the top for uh, mechanical uh, engines. So I'm going to move on and I'm going to um, select the car on the home story. It's not going to be important. And uh, the rest is going to be more details and more uh, options for the elevator. Also, we could manage the two-dimensional presentation for the plan view. We can change the line style and uh, the colors. So I'm going to hit OK. And the elevator will be changed to uh, this shape, which seems fine for an elevator. I'm going to um, fix this part here because we need some space for the weight. So I'm going to turn back to this one, the dimensions. Um, here it is 12 centimeter. So maybe if I change it to just 10 centimeter. Also, if we turn it to 1 meter and 25, we're going to have more space for uh, the weight. So I'm going to hit OK, and uh, it seems uh, fine for now. Also, we should uh, draw and a sliding door for uh, the elevator. So I'm going to select the door tool. Then on the library, I'm going to select the double sliding door. I'm going to um, select the door lift to something default for uh, the elevators. Then I would like to change the detail level for the 3D view and also uh, the 2D view. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to draw the sliding door like that. The dimension is uh, too much for um, this plan. So I'm going to reduce the size to something similar to the door size, which now it seems <laughs> too small. So maybe 80 centimeter. Yeah, it seems fine. OK. Also, we could open the sliding door a little bit here to be matched with the door on the uh, cabin. And uh, this is it. That's how you can draw an uh, elevator and uh, stairs for uh, your buildings. So if you have more questions about uh, drawing these two elements in ARCHICAD, write it down on the comment section. I'm going to uh, read all of your questions, all of your comments, and I'm going to answer to all of them immediately. If this is the first time that you are watching my uh, tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because um, there will be many more tutorials I would like to speak in uh, ARCHICAD and other uh, applications which uh, benefits architects. I always suggest that you uh, practice this tutorial that you just uh, watched, even uh, in other channels, not uh, only my tutorials. I suggest that uh, you practice them and also you can share your experience and some details that you figure out on uh, drawings, uh, these elements. So uh, this is it for today. And um, also you can see these elements in the tree view. See you on the next tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye bye.